Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on how to use ChatGPT to generate Excel formulas and functions. In this video, I will show you how to use ChatGPT to quickly and easily create Excel formulas and functions that can be used in your Excel spreadsheets. Sometimes sorting out some of our problems in Excel can become really confusing. We will go through a merely complicated example during this how-to video to give you an intuition to use ChatGPT when you need to figure out your problem in ease. Assume that we have a table showing the individual performance of the team members of our sales department. We will use ChatGPT to find out both individual and total sales performance. As we remember from the previous videos, we need to define our request as specific as possible in order to get the best result from the chat GPT. For this example, we need to prompt something like that. Hi chat GPT. I have an Excel table showing the sales data that has been done by my three salespersons during the first 14 days of January. In the column A, I have the name of the salesperson. In the column B, the dates are listed. And in the column C, the amount of sales that has been done at that day by each salesperson. At first, I would like to know total amount of sales. How can I do that in Excel? The first and easiest solution proposed by ChatGPT is using sum function. That is the solution what I was expecting as well. It also proposed auto sum function which can be reached through the auto sum button. It looks like the Greek Sigma character located on the Excel ribbon. Let us apply what ChatGPT proposed at first. It proposed using SUM function between C2 and C15 cells. It is obvious that the calculation will be wrong, because our table is ending at C43. But we can change that by ourselves once we get the formula. Maybe it would be a good idea to tell the length of our table in the prompt. This would help ChatGPT to come out with exact solution. I prompted ChatGPT again and mentioned that the formula is not covering whole table. I explained the situation and specified that the formula did not cover all sales data. As the table is showing each salesperson's daily performance, my table is longer than that. I have three records for each day. Can you fix the interval? I was expecting it to change the interval, but it proposed a better solution which can be generic for any length of table. It came out with sum if function and has taken the 1st and 14th of January as constraints. The formula it proposed will work any length of table. It can also be used to filter the data between specific range of dates for a table covering data of the longer period. We will see how it is done in couple of minutes by asking ChatGPT to do that for us. I have applied the formula by copying the formula by clicking the copy code located at the top right corner of the code section in which ChatGPT has generated the formula and pasted it into our Excel worksheet. The formula did not work unexpectedly. When I checked it, I have realized that ChatGPT generated the formula by assuming that the table is for January 2023. But, our table is created for year 2022. This is another hole in our prompt. Take it as a lesson learned. If we are asking ChatGPT to generate a formula for a table including dates, it would be a good idea to mention about the year, maybe month to get a precise solution. Because the year information was not correct, the formula returned zero. Prompting ChatGPT again to fix the year in the formula by telling that the table is for 2022 not for 2023 will help ChatGPT to fix the problem faster. One of the reason I love about ChatGPT is, it is like a never boring assistant. It is always trying to solve the problem even if it caused because of lack of information you did not provide. Once we mentioned about the problem clearly and correctly, ChatGPT produced the formula with necessary corrections. We again copied the formula, pasted into our Excel sheet and voila. It worked. Now it is time to make things a little bit more complicated. We are asking ChatGPT to give us a formula which will help us to calculate total sales amount at a given interval. But with the help of sum if function, the solution is not that hard to generate for ChatGPT. 
I have prompted that I want to see the total amount of sales between 5th and 11th of January. Is there any formula that can do that? As I guessed, ChatGPT produced the solution with some if function again. This time, it used 5th of January 2022 and 11th of January 2022 as the time frame. Again I did the same process, copied the formula and pasted into Excel. ChatGPT is sorting out such kind of formula generations perfectly. Now, I want to do some data analysis and use some additional features to compare the sales performances of my sales team. I have prompted my request as I want to compare the performances of all salespersons during that period. The performance criterion for me is the amount of sales. How can I do that in Excel? The first solution of ChatGPT was using pivot tables. It beautifully explained how to apply pivot table and achieve my goal. We all know ChatGPT is doing pivot table solutions from my previous videos. I recommend you to go back and watch data analysis video if you did not see yet. I will show how the pivot table is applied in this case. But I want an alternative solution as well. So, I pushed ChatGPT to provide an alternative method other than pivot table. It provided a combination of sorting, filtering, and using sum if function. Now let us see application of both method. The pivot table solution has perfectly worked. Following what ChatGPT proposes helps to create pivot table easily. Applying second proposed solution is slightly a little bit complicated and might also be problematic. One of the problem is, the application requires custom sorting with additional sort rule. ChatGPT is explaining that as clicking onto the sort located in the data ribbon. It may cause confusion if you don't have any idea about using Excel previously. Secondly, it is telling that date sort should be selected as a second sort option. If you are not familiar with Excel interface, you will definitely struggle. And the last problem is the formula itself. We are using dollar sign in Excel formulas in order to not to change the reference value of the formula when we are copying and pasting a cell. ChatGPT is asking us to copy and paste formula to all the column, but you will see at both column and row references of the formula has dollar sign. The formula is to update its row references while we are dragging or copying it to the cells below. So, another intervention is required at this point. I have deleted the dollar sign from the formula to have it worked as it is supposed to be. At this point, I have to make a warning. There is a lot of content on how to get rich using ChatGPT in many videos on social media channels. ChatGPT is not a tool that can help you become a superhuman capable of using information you don't have, or write a book about something you don't know. If it were, there would be no need for humans anyway. You can think of it as an assistant that increases your performance and makes your work easier on a subject you already know. Despite all its positive qualities, you need to filter what it offers you. Otherwise, by using ChatGPT, you can get extremely inaccurate results, which will have very unfavorable results for your personal reputation. If you are already doing affiliate marketing, you can speed up your business with ChatGPT. If you're already a writer, you can write your books faster. But if you are not doing these things, and you have no knowledge, I advise you not to dream of making such quick money with ChatGPT. It was necessary to make a video on this subject, but in summary, it's important to understand that you should already have prior knowledge of the subject you will be using ChatGPT on. Also, prompting in ChatGPT or any other artificial intelligence application is extremely important, and you will need to work on this as well. With these video series, I want to both create this awareness and discuss how prompting is done from zero to advanced levels. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content on ChatGPT and its many applications, including programming, project management, and more.